गुड मॉर्निंग डियर चिल्ड्रेन इन एप्रिल मंथ वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड थ्री ऑफ द चैप्टर्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट हियर फोर्थ चैप्टर बेसिक ज्योमेट्रिकल आइडियाज बेसिक एंड आइडियाज एवरीवन कैन अंडरस्टैंड हियर कम्स द वर्ड ज्योमेट्रिकल कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ टू वर्ड्स जियो एंड मेट्रिकल जियो मीन्स अर्थ एंड मेट्रल मीन्स द मेजरमेंट मीन्स द मेजरमेंट ऑफ द अर्थ so for the measurement of the earth here we need some of the things like points line line segment rays so here we are going to understand those things point this anywhere if i drop one point point everyone can understand this is a point so for denoting this point we need something so this is denoted by capital letter suppose capital a capital b or capital x y z anything you can use any of the alphabets in capital letter we use to denote this point now the second thing is a line this is a line line do not have any end point it is just a line so both sides we are showing it by an arrow so this can be denoted by any small alphabet like small x y z l m n a b c and so on then third is a line segment line segment means both the sides it will have two end points means point already you know here we are seeing point is denoted by a capital letter so here capital alphabet a and here capital alphabet b so it is a line segment so it is a point it is a line and it is a line segment then a ray ray means it is starting from one end point and going up to where we do not know like point means capital alphabet and this is a part of the line means going up to where we do not know like sun rays starting from the sun but up to where it is going that we do not know like sun we know the sun but the ray which is starting from here it can go up to here also up to here also up to here also so the starting point we know but the end point we do not know so it is called a ray all these things we have seen here i have explained you but the definitions are very important those definitions i will be writing in the copy and those you can note down in your note copy through the whatsapp now after this we are going to start our exercise that exercise 4.1 here one diagram is given one line like this then from here and from here after that one point here given as b then this is the point given as o then here point given as e and this is given as d and here point given as c now the questions are asked use the figure to name first five points so you have to write down the name of the five points what are the points already i have explained you that the points are named by capital alphabets so here capital alphabets you can see 1 2 3 4 5 5 of the capital alphabets are given here so those are the five points so five 
points we will write as A, O, C, E and D. These are the five points. Now second part. A line. A line. Line I have explained you. Line do not have any end points. Means both the sides it will have the arrows. So this is having one arrow and this is one arrow. It should be straight. It cannot go from, means it should not form any angle like this. So it is starting from here, arrow is of course, and going like this and one arrow is there. So this is the line, means B to D, means A, B, D. This is a line. We are writing like this because any small alphabet is not given. If any small alphabet might be given like L, M, N, then we would have written that. But it is not given in the question, so we are writing B to D. So B D is the line. Then four of the rays. Four of the rays. Rays means starting from one point and going. To an arrow means O up to where we do not know. So if you want you can give any alphabet like O to L then O to C then O to D O to B like that. So O B O C then O to E also and O to D also. That you can write. If by your own you don't want to give any alphabet. Four of the rays from the quotient itself if you want to write. O, B, O, C, O, E and O, D. O, B, O, C, O, D and O, E. These are the four rays according to the quotient given. Then five of the line segments. line segments line segment means two end points must be there means this is the starting point and this is the end point so OB, OC then BE can also be there OE can also be there OD can also be there ED also can be there so any of these you can take Five line segments you have to take there. So we will take first OC, OB, OE and OD and anyone else also you can take like B, D. Like what you are going to take here? OB, OC, OB, OC, OE. Also you can take OD and BE also you can take. How many are there? Five we have completed. So these are the five line segments. So these are the things as in the first question. This you have to complete in your fair notebook. Also the definitions you have to complete before this. That I will give you through the WhatsApp. All has given your numbers in the WhatsApp group. So first you will be completing that uh, definitions and then coming to the exercise. First you will complete this first portion. Then coming to the second portion. Name the line given in all possible 12 ways. Choosing all two letters from the at the time from your four given. One line is given and four of the alphabets are given. We have to choose all the possible ways. 12 ways will be there. All the 12 ways you have to choose and write. So, question number 2 will be your homework. Means you will do this question by your own. It will be all the 12 ways according to your own choice. 12 ways are there. All the possible 12 ways you will be writing by your own. Coming to question number 3. Use the figure to name line containing point E. 
So first you have to draw the figure of course. Like this figure will be given, you have to write down the line containing point E. So, line. Line means having two arrows. No end point. So, this is one arrow, this is one arrow. The line containing E. So, this is the E containing on the line AE. And E is also containing on this line. So, you have to write down the name of the line containing point E. Then, line passing through A. Line passing through A. This is only the point A passing only through this line. Only one line will be there. And line on which O lies. Line on which O lies. This is only the one line on which the O lies. So only one line will be there. And two pairs of intersecting lines. Intersecting lines and parallel lines we have not understood. Intersecting lines. Intersecting lines means crossing lines like this. These are the intersecting lines and parallel lines means like this parallel lines. Like for example, the lines through which uh, means track, train track on which the train travels. So this is the example of parallel lines and intersecting lines means these lines which intersect means which cross each other. So this is the intersecting line and this is the parallel line which never intersect. If train track, if it will intersect then accidents will take place. So always the train track will be going parallel. So this is the parallel example. So here is asking for part two pair of intersecting lines. So this is one intersecting line and this is the second intersecting line. So this example you have to write. So this question number 3 also you will solve by your own. So question number 2 and question number 3 will be your homework. Definitions. You will get through WhatsApp. Okay. So, this much for today. Definitions you will get through WhatsApp. Question number 1 I have given in this online one. And question number 2 and 3 you will have to solve by your own. So, we have completed up to here. Question number 4 onwards we will see in our next video. Thank you for today.